Bidat based products. Why in the business field one wants not to indulge in anything which is uh, immoral or which is un Islamic? However, both in the case of morality and in the case of Islamic uh, acceptability or otherwise, there are debates. You cannot avoid those debates. Um, but you ought to know what are the arguments on both sides in order for you to be able to decide properly as to whether you would like to go for a certain form of business or not. Uh, because there are possibilities of the business uh, getting indulged in items or activities that are not acceptable. One of those things, one of those areas where uh, there is a serious question of acceptability is uh, the uh, practice called Bidat. What is Bidat? It is a religious act which uh, even though claims to be religious, but it has not originated from the Prophet, may God's mercy be on him. It's only the Prophet of God who brought God's religion. So, while we do many other things which uh, are needed by us for our worldly life, and we do not seek the sanction of religion for doing them, uh, the only thing that we need to, to find out is that we are not going against any of the religious principles. Uh, there are things, actions, activities that we get involved in which are religious in nature. Now, when it comes to religion, we have no source to resort to except for the Prophet, may God's mercy be on him. So, when somebody starts a religious practice which has not originated from uh, the Prophet, he did not do it. He did not sanction it. He did not support it. Then that practice is a religious innovation which is called Bidat and it is uh, condemned in Islam. However, there are debates as to what exactly is Bidat because there is another view which says that if you are doing something good, even if it is religious and even if it is not, it has not originated from the Prophet. Uh, it's good. What's wrong with it? So there are people, for example, who at the time of the death of a relative would gather and uh, recite the Holy Quran, even though that they know that it was never done by the Prophet, nor by his descendants, nor by his followers, his companions. Uh, yet, uh, there are people who do it because they say that it's a good thing, there's no harm in it, uh, we recite the Quran and we, we seek the Almighty's help in transferring the virtue, uh, the goodness of uh, what we have read to the deceased. So, there are those who would say that it's a bidat, it's a religious innovation, it did not originate from the Prophet. And there are others who would say that even though it did not originate from him, there is no harm in it because bidat is something which is evil, which is bad. It cannot be something which is good. Those who disagree with it would say that a religious practice by its nature has to be good. The only thing is that it doesn't originate from the Prophet. An example of uh, you know, the relevant products could be uh, the, uh, the piece of cloth that is utilized for the purpose of uh, uh, putting down while people gather and recite the Quran. Uh, there are things people do, uh, like they have incense, uh, they have uh, uh, various different forms of clothing that they wear for the purpose of doing things which they think are religiously desirable even though none of them originated from uh, the Prophet. Uh, some people would say that it's uh, it's Pidat, others would say it is not. We find, for example, now uh, there is a, a mold 
of a replica of the holy Kaaba which is attempted to be made and there are people who go around it uh, like it's, it's done in, in the holy mosque in Mecca, uh, Tawaf. Uh, and there are people who say that we get the same good feeling over here. There are some who would say that it's Pidat. There are others who would say that uh, it's fine. Uh, but obviously, no matter what understanding one holds, one really needs to be careful that both arguments are uh, seriously considered and then the decision is taken. Because if there is a product which is made in soul, which is based on Bidat, it really has to be condemnable. But whether it is or not, is something which obviously has to be honestly decided by the individual who, who wants to go into its business.